Hey guys, I'm Josh. I'm Owen. And I'm Brandon. And we're Playback, and we're here chilling with Pop Blitz Magazine. And can you guys tell us um, one thing nobody knows about each of you? Oh, goodness. Okay, my answer to this question is always, one thing that no one knows about me is I'm kind of obsessed with Kool-Aid powder, but I like to eat it by itself. I should be on my strange addiction. But yeah, that's my <laughs> weird fact about myself. That's very strange. Um, for me, I have to say that, well, this can't really be leaving this little circle, but I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have worn a Batman shirt. I should have. Well, I actually don't want people finding out, so. I hate to break it to you, but a lot of people are about to see this. Oh, <laughs> no. Your secret's out. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, All right. Um, Brent. Oh, I guess one thing people don't know about me is not really big. Um, I didn't even have a Twitter before X Factor. Or really? like a Facebook page or anything. Nice. You should probably yeah. talk a little loud because there's planes. Yeah, stuff, I was just going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Mike's kind of little. All right. So you guys are here in LA for VidCon, which you performed at Friday night. Right. Tell us about that. That must have been insane. It was, it was a party. I mean, like every like when we get together since like lately it's been kind of like we get called out we go and uh since we don't live close we just get together and we kind of flew in early the day of the the show and then just practice and perform yeah we didn't have a lot of time to like prepare things so it was just kind of like a winged like okay we're gonna do this song this song like pick songs from our repertoire and choose a couple new ones so it was like it was like right on the spot almost, but it worked out really well and the yeah. crowd had great energy and like, it, it was also kind of a new performance atmosphere because we'd never performed outside before. All of our venues have been like indoor venues, which is, it's like a completely different feel. So I think it was a, a cool new experience for us to be outside. And it was good exposure because there are a lot of people, yeah. there are like 11,000 people at VidCon and a lot of these people hadn't heard of us before and we got a lot of compliments afterward from, I'm sure people who hadn't even heard of us before the performance that just came up and said, hey, you were great. And, and so it was it was good exposure, it was a fun time, and it went over well. That's awesome. So a lot of people know you as the band Playback from X Factor. What can you guys tell us about that experience? It was definitely a wild experience. I can say that much. Um, I mean, it's definitely something that I'm very thankful for. Getting to work and meet these guys has been a huge part of my life these past couple of months. And like, honestly, it's taken us places we didn't think we'd be able to go to. You right. know, like LA, New York City, Nashville. Like, it's crazy to think about how different our lives were a year ago. Like, before I tried out for the show, I know that I didn't really think I could do this as a career. And I thought it was just like something cool I'd like to do. But after the show, it really gave us confidence. Like now we know we can actually make something out of it. And you, and you just learn a lot about the process, what yeah. it means to be in the music industry and to be on TV. And it was, mm -hmm. it was definitely good experience as much as it was good exposure. So you guys took a lot away from the experience. Oh, yeah. yeah Is we there got any, a, we got a lot anything in particular that stands out that you really learned? I think the main thing that I learned through the experience was just to be confident. Like, People don't want to pay attention to you if you don't have a big personality, and if you, if you don't know yourself, nobody's gonna want to know you. If that makes sense. So like, yeah. if you're confident in yourself, you respect yourself. People respect you for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I know you probably get asked this a lot, but you guys did get sent home individually and then brought back together to form the group. So what was going through your head when you got brought back out there on that stage and were facing those judges? It was a weird bunch of people because they, they formed three groups this year yeah. and so they were calling up a bunch of names and like like it was just kind of a whirlwind of emotions because you're just coming off of that like, oh god I didn't do it kind of like feeling right. and so you're walking out of the room and you're kind of like trying to tell yourself that you know it's okay like life goes on and, and, and things are going to happen for me either way and then they like start calling you up so you don't know what to think and like my head was just jumbled and I, there, it's a random group of people that ended up being three different it was just crazy and like you don't know what to expect because they throw you for all kinds of loops and all kinds of twists and turns so it was just like a lot of trying to analyze like okay what the heck is going on because you never really know. It was, it was I think we felt definitely like we were all really grateful. Oh I mean, yeah. And we first found it was out like, what was going whoa, on. Whoa, jeez, what is this? And then it was like, oh, whoa, we're, we're, wait, we're in up here? Yeah. Okay. 
Look at that. Yeah, I could see the look in like everybody's eyes when we got put into the group. Like we looked at each other like, what did he just get us into? Like, because it's not like we had the option to be like, okay, no thanks. Like this doesn't work for me. <laughs> I mean, dude, they're giving you a second chance. So we're all looking at each other like, okay, how are we gonna make this right, work? Right. And then after I think like five minutes, it kind of set in that we were going to judges' homes, and so after that, it was just like, like. Hey, we're on we're a high for like now. a week, so it was cool. I actually checked out that video this morning of your yeah. performance from the judge's house. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I can speak for your fans when they say you're, they're glad that you, you know, stuck in there and yeah. you're still around. And speaking of fans, we have a bunch of questions. Awesome. I chose a few of them. So, Kiana wants to know, what is your favorite memory together? Oh, I know. Do you know what I know, it is? I know what it is. Yeah, right. on three we'll say it, where it was. One, two, three. The beach. beach. We were on the beach. Uh, <laughs> at, it was actually right after boot camp when we found out that we were getting put into a group. We got taken over to this really nice resort in Miami. And, uh, <laughs> and it was right on the coastline in Miami. And so one night, I think this was the first night that we were staying there, we went out onto the beach and we just started like seeing with each other and like jamming out and we were out there really late and it was just like a fun night and I think that was our first like bonding experience as we, that was like our first song we sang because the producer like our producer Tim was the guy who like put together One Direction and he was like okay if you guys want to make this work you gotta bond so yeah so just go out and have fun tonight so we just went out there I'm yours yeah and I just remember thinking like this is such a surreal moment to be like on the beach and like singing and just the opportunity that we were that we were being a part of was so crazy. So yeah, that was definitely I think our favorite our favorite memory together. That's awesome. And I know the beach is relaxing in itself, so yes. yeah, it's a definitely. Cool environment. And Brianna wants to know if you could redo the X Factor experience. Is there anything you would do over? Oh goodness, Absolutely. there's so oh, many things. So many things. I mean, because you know, you can't prepare yourself going into it here. Brandon, why don't you start with what you would do differently? I mean, I feel like for me, because I did it on like a whim. Like my friend came and said, "Hey, I'm trying out. You should." And then my friends convinced me to. So I was like, "Okay." I wasn't sure of my voice at all, so I went and did it. And then I just felt like I was kind of riding a wave the whole time yeah. like, through all of boot camp. And then when we got together, that was when I was like really serious about it. I just know that now with like training and after knowing all I can know, I do a lot of things differently and like put a lot more into singing, making everything my own. <sighs> do you want me to list everything? <laughs> <laughs> I would have not sounded as dumb when I talked. I would have picked better songs. I would have made sure my appearance was top notch. I don't know. I, there's just everything. It's so like, much different when you yeah, watch it back. I would take everything back if I could, to be completely honest, besides being in the group. Because you're, you're writing. You said it perfectly, you're riding this wave and it's like, you're just trying to keep up with what's going on and so you don't have time to look back and think, what the heck am I doing right now? But like, you look at these things that you were wearing and you think, why Why did I wear that when I knew millions of people were gonna be watching? You have to be like, and you look at the songs that you picked and it's like, why didn't I do that differently? So there's just so many things that you can't prepare yourself for because you don't know what the experience is like. So looking back on it, it's like, like if, I, if we were to go back and do it the X Factor again, it would be like, I'm sure we would have a lot more confidence in like yeah. everything, what we're singing, what we're wearing, just every aspect of it. It, it can't be premeditated when you're going through it for the first time. Yeah. Well, you must, you've done something, right? Because people liked you. True. I so. Mean, it's, it's also, there was something nice about that raw energy, I think, that like, we yeah. didn't know what was going on, but we had fun with it. And we just, I think that's a lot of what people liked is, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't, it wasn't meditative and it wasn't like like we thought too much about it and well, that's also what to, I like, like about us that too. That reflected in our performance too like when we act, when it came down to the day we performed Rich Girl we just had a lot of fun with it and it wasn't overthought it was just all just hey let's have a lot of energy and give like the yeah. a good time. And I think that's kind of characterizes our live performances now like yeah we're we're not about dance moves and we're not about choreography and like trying to get things perfect because if you're having fun <laughs> the crowd's gonna have fun right. and so it's like they feed off of energy they don't feed off of, of good good vocals as important as that is you know <laughs> they're there to have a good time and so it's like put on a good show and that's right. all that they care about so I definitely enjoy being a part of this group because nobody's pretentious nobody cares about like this needs to be perfect and our choreography needs to be here here and here and I think that's kind of what makes us play better Right, I know that's what stuck out for me when I watched the performances, was that you seemed like, you know, number one, you were being real, you were being true, and you were having fun. Thank you very much. Yeah, so. it was a great time. Rowie wants to know, what are your future plans for the band? 
this is a hard question to answer for us because right at the we're at a point right now where like we're all in different parts of the country and so it's like it's hard to get together because it's expensive because plane tickets are very expensive mm -hmm. and um so money money won't get you too far yeah <laughs> Um, you get so, that right. Like yeah. we got, we get invited out to events like like Digifest and VidCon, and of course we're gonna take the opportunity because one, we want to see each other, and two, right. it's it's good exposure. But at the same time, it's hard to plan ahead because it's like it, we all have our own solo careers, and we're all trying to pursue our own music. So it's like we're gonna we're gonna go wherever it takes us. Um, we just kind of take it as it comes to us. Yeah. Good luck with school, college and school. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people were tweeting asking about touring, and I guess that answers that. Just basically, wherever yeah. you I can. Mean, I mean, it's at, at this point, it's really because like what I've gotten invited to, it's been only because of my fans, and what we've been invited to, it's been because of people seeking us out. Yeah. So I think if we kind of take that together and have our fans, yeah, and really it, just our fans. I don't think I, we don't want to make it sound like we're opposed to, to growing and becoming right. this huge group because we're definitely, we want to boost our fan base and we want to reach out to more people to make those mm -hmm. things possible. But where we're at right now, I mean, we have amazing fans, but we're not at a point with our fan base where we could go on tour, where yeah. we could afford to fly out to these right. places and record. Um, and we're actually, we've kind of been brainstorming ways to to expand our fan base and, and to make more opportunities possible by collaborating with people and, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just, again, take it day by day, see who we meet, and if things line up, then they line up. You never know in this industry. Right. I think at the end of the day, it's all like, it's basically just when it comes to like a show, even if we don't know about it, if our fans are tweeting about it, when we hear about it, we can tell them to keep tweeting about it. Yeah. That's a big part of the conversation. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> break it down individually for one for just a minute um I know Brandon you have a band called we are moody cool name where'd you get that um I actually had like I had been with them for a couple of years like before the show and everything and, uh, when I came back my band dissipated so they offered themselves up as hey we used to do stuff together you want to hang out do a band thing and that worked out I had it actually like I had this dream about it and people are screaming we Moody. So. Oh, really? <laughs> so it's weird. So are you guys moody? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon is a pretty moody person. Pretty moody person. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so what do you have planned for your band right now? Um, I mean, when I go to college, they might come with me, they might not. I mean, at this point, it's just, we're kind of riding the wave we have right now. We're working on getting covers out, just like what we do with this band. Nice. And Josh and Owen, what about you guys? Right now, I'm actually in the studio working on an EP, uh, a solo EP, uh, and I've got originals that I'm recording. We're gonna throw an old cover on there, um, and that's exciting because that's gonna be my very first like studio recorded material, and it's long awaited. I've been on YouTube for three years, so it's like way overdue. People have been asking for music, and so it's really exciting for me to finally be able to put stuff out from a studio rather than from my bathroom. And so, um, so that's pretty exciting. And then we're just gonna work on music videos and, and doing more of like the Teen Boot and, and Did You Fest stuff. And just start really amping things up because once, once I'm out on my own, you know, it's my own decisions that I have to make. And so I'm just trying to, to set that path for myself and, and lay a foundation so that when I'm, I'm maybe out in LA in a year, you know, I have stuff to give to people and to share with people. Two weeks actually I'll be attending Belmont University studying music business nice. and I'm really looking forward to moving to Nashville because it's a great city especially for music and I'm just looking forward to opportunities I'll be able to have there. Actually I'm um, starting to work on more original songs, I'm shooting a couple of videos in the next two weeks so uh, yeah, that's what I got going on. I mean Owen's probably the most modest of the most original. Owen's got some pretty sweet original. 
original. He, he like all of his stuff on SoundCloud. It's all really good stuff. Nice. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. And do you have any final messages for your fans that are watching right now? Uh, we love I mean, you. <laughs> seriously. I think I can say on behalf of everybody, like we wouldn't be at VidCon if it weren't for our yeah. fans, and we wouldn't have been able to do Teen Hoop and Digitour and all these cool things without our fans. And so. It's really just incredible what a group of people can come together and accomplish for us. And it's so selfless in them. You know, like they don't have to do that for us, but they do because they believe in us and, and that means the entire world. So I think shout out to Playback is Alive, Play Bacon. Yeah. I love Playback. I love Playback. All, we have so many we have amazing, fan amazing fan groups on Twitter and, and Playback Dallas. Oh yeah, Playback. When we came to Dallas, I had some friends from another school who were the entire concert for us, and they actually got an award from like the city of Irving for it. Yeah, for for nothing, they yeah. organized the entire concert. So I think I can say on yeah. behalf of us, thank you so much. We love you, uh, and please just keep it up and don't don't give up on us because there's more coming. I promise. Your support means the entire world, and we do not take you guys lightly at all because you know you are all we have. I know as far as like the fan accounts go, they've been tweeting us every day. Yeah. Since like the day of the show. Yeah, it's been over a year. And it's really hard to find that. So, so let's keep riding the way. All right.